Hi everybody, this is attorney David P. Greenberger with 1031 Exchange Advantage and welcome to Building Wealth with 1031 Exchanging. Remember that it's not what you make that counts, it's what you keep that matters. And that's very, very important now because taxes have recently been increased and are at a much higher rate than they were in the past. In fact, if you sell real estate in New York City, you can pay as much as 50% if you're in the high tax brackets. Uh, because now it's indexed to your, um, your income. And so with capital gains tax rates recently increased, why give more and more of your hard-earned profit uh, away in taxes to the government? They don't even send you a thank you note. I suggest you look into 1031 exchanging. There's hundreds of thousands of dollars that we save with a 1031 exchange. And of course, the more you make, the more you pay. Uh, and with the exchange, the more you exchange the more you save even if you're not making a lot of money on the sales price but have owned the property for a long time a lot of people don't know that you still may owe taxes now you try to figure out how is that possible well it turns out that even if you don't sell your property for a profit but you've owned it a long long time each year on your tax return when you depreciate you tell the government that your property is really worth less and so by the time it comes to sell, they think it's worth a lot less than what you paid for it. So they think on the books, you owe them tax, even if you sell the property at the same price that you bought it for, but were reporting it over a long period of time as depreciating over time. And so you've got to remember that an exchange has got to be set up before you sell the property. Because under the IRS code, you can sell, buy, and get cash out of real estate without paying a penny in taxes so long as you follow the rules. And we at 1031 Exchange Advantage are a 1031 Exchange Accommodator that's required by the IRS, and we help you basically follow the rules. First thing you need to know is do you qualify? Well, here's some simple rules to see whether you do or not. Number one, are you selling and then buying property? And number two, does the property you are selling have any business use? Now, the reason there's an asterisk here on number one is because you can also do the process in reverse, meaning you can buy first as the way to begin your exchange. And then after 180 days, which is the exchange prop period, you can sell something tax free. The majority of exchanges are initiated, as it says in number one, selling first and then buying. But the key to understand is, are you selling and then thinking of buying? You have 180 days to complete your exchange. And is there any business use at the property you're selling? Because if there is, you're going to qualify for an exchange. Now, here's some ideas for other properties that have business use, which is what you need to know to be sure your property qualifies. Is it a former residence? Now, former residence qualifies because it's just that. It's a former residence. You've moved out. The way to make a residence into an exchange property is move out. And of course, you're going to report to the government on your tax return a new legal address. And so the former residence where you were living is now considered a property held for investment. Even if it's not rented, it's still considered an exchange property held for investment because what do we call a property that's not rented? A bad investment, but it's still an investment. Number two, is the residence with a home office or a small business? In that case, you don't even have to move out because the small business purpose part of the property or the home office uh, is considered the exchange property. And the IRS is very liberal with the way that they calculate what the value of your business purpose, whether it be a home office or a small business, is. Number three, is it a vacation or second home? These properties are really good exchange properties because people typically buy vacation homes and expect to use them a lot more than they wind up doing. And so they may want to change where it's located and exchange one into another location. Number four, Property where parties are getting divorced. Now, you normally wouldn't think about an exchange during a divorce. Most people are thinking about pretty much 
everything and anything but an exchange. Divorce is kind of a hectic time. But somebody typically moves out during a divorce, creates a new legal residence. And so when the matters are all settled and the property is sold pursuant to the judge's order, the person who moved out can exchange their interest in what was their former residence, which is number one on our list. So people getting divorced, at least one of them can have a silver lining in that they can sell the former residents, their interest in the former residents, and not pay capital gains tax if they do an exchange. Number five is rental or commercial property. That's easy because it's always considered an investment if it's rental or commercial. So how can this work for you? Well, you're going to save all the taxes when you do an exchange, reinvest in a better investment. And the words better investment are key because that's what the essence of an exchange is. You have to reinvest within 180 days and you have to uh, hopefully find something that will work better for you. And that way you can use all the cash without paying tax and leverage into a better investment. Any real estate investment works in exchange for the sale of investment real estate. So you can exchange any kind of real estate for any other kind. And that's really liberal and flexible. Now, to give you some ideas of investments that will work or may work for you within, with, you, with regard to your particular situation, uh, a retirement exchange is where you would sell an existing investment and buy something, a home, that you ultimately move into and use for your retirement. So then you've purchased a retirement property with tax-free money. A college exchange is when you sell a property uh, and buy something near a college where your kids and others can rent from you uh, as an investment, that's a better investment for what you need then. Divorce exchange we went over earlier where you're going to sell an interest in a property you no longer reside in. And the vacation home exchange we talked about as well. So what kinds of exchanges work? Well, the ones that work the best are the ones that are well thought out. And in the case of number one, the making more money exchange, you've just reinvested in a better return. And we do have options on our website where we can walk you through in a consultation these different investments and match you up and see what works for you. You can always review them at www.my1031place.com and you click consult uh, when you're ready for a consultation. Uh, but the no more toilets exchange, which is number two, is where you trade out of properties that you've managed and you're sick and tired of the toilets and the trash. And so you're going to reinvest in something that is pretty much management free. Now, fixing up the property exchange, number three, is where you use exchange funds to improve real estate tax free. This is a great use of uh, funds because they're tax free dollars and you can put them to work to improve something that you buy, hopefully at a good price, and then sell that property down the road and exchange it. But there's very few places where you get tax-free money, and your exchange account is one of them. So you can use those dollars to either buy or improve real estate. And then the cash-out exchange is where you're going to exchange a property into another property, do a refinance, and pull out cash because the proceeds of the refinance uh, are tax-free. So the way to get started is to hire a 1031 accommodator. We at 1031 Exchange Advantage will help you with the rules, help you structure. You can uh, get consultations at no cost. And we do have the only system in the industry that prevents fraud and protects your client funds. So we hope you will register at no obligation for some more information and for your consultations at www.selltaxfree.com. By doing so, you'll be ordering a free roadmap. You'll have a link to consultations. You'll have a link to start the exchange when you're ready. And you'll be saving $200 on the standard exchanges, 
which will bring the fee to 595. Or if you do an improvement exchange, which is substantially more, and reverse exchanges, you can save at least $500. So we hope you'll register. We hope you enjoyed the uh, webinar today. And we thank you for your time. introduce myself and then the, the two pages on the site uh, I think the plan page and the schedule page. Well, you can, you can.